There was a quality of life component to the study which showed a huge benefit in the arm of the patients getting a brutinib, which I guess those of us that have used it aren't surprised. Patients do feel very, very good on that drug. The major side effects that people are concerned about are bleeding and atrial fibrillation, and they are not that common. And in this study, as I said, if you, if you, um, if you adjust it for ex drug time exposure, they're, they're the same in both arms. The thing with bleeding and bruising is if you're doing any kind of operative procedure, you need to stop the drug for five to seven days, depending on what's happening, and for an equivalent number of days afterwards. You, you have to do that, otherwise they bleed. Atrial fibrillation uh, is seven to eight percent of patients. You don't have to stop the drug. You may need to anticoagulate, and you can safely anticoagulate patients with a brutinib. I think there are concerns about that, um, but I, in my experience, that's not an issue. Um, you've got to be careful, I think, with antiplatelet drugs. So certainly dual antiplatelet therapy plus a brutinib is asking for trouble. So you've got to be a little bit careful what you combine with it because it does have an aspirin-like effect. But no, I think generally it's a very well-tolerated drug and you don't usually need to stop the drug. I, I, I can't remember having dose-modified anybody on that drug.